Good day guys. Well, this is a video for pretty much all you Jetty users out there. Guys who use things like the DS16 or maybe what is it the DS12 over here for you guys. So, Jetty sensors. Now, a little while ago there was a video I put up and um I had essentially sent Pavel from the iNav project a Jetty DS12 to kind of get iNav to support the Xbus protocol. And the logic to this was essentially that if we got Xbus properly supported, we could get all the telemetry goodness that exists. Well, I kind of want to show you what I have done off the back of it. And it, it's really quite simple for anybody who deals with flight controllers. But um, essentially, well, let me try to pick this up. It's all plugged into a battery. I have created a little stack. So we can see how I've got a jetty receiver and it's plugged into a port and it's all plugged onto this tiny little stack which is about a 22 mil stack or 20 mil stack I think it is with a GPS on the top and the sole purpose of this stack is to act as a telemetry sensor for INAV so um you know the idea I've got to this is that essentially I don't really have any requirement in some of the things like my jets to have INAV controlling the aircraft but I do kind of like a few things like GPS speed, location, altitude, you know how much current draw I've got, maybe my velocity, the g-force sensors, all that sort of stuff. But um, the long and short of it, it all exists on this. And um, well I've got a ruler here, in fact yeah let me get the ruler out here nice and quick and we can give you a sense of how small this is. So this stack is 22 mils high by 25 by 25 so 25 by 25 and 22 mils high it includes from a jetty perspective a sensor for well in fact let me go down the list that's probably the simplest so I'll tell you what it's got displaying here for you what we got here well we have got voltage current altitude battery capacity which kind of works out off you know if I program this I can say well I'm running a 5000 milliamp pack and it will count down the current utilization and actually tell me how much battery capacity I've got left. Power, which is the number of watts being drawn. The roll angle. You know, I can move this around and you can actually see, I don't know if you'll be able to see on this display here, but you can actually see that little number busy moving around. Well, that's because I'm moving my flight control around. So I have roll angle. I have pitch angle. I have a vario. GPS satellites, GPS longitude, latitude, GPS speed, GPS home distance, how far I am from the point I took off, the direction to home. I'm not sure how I'll use it with a line of sight plane, but it's there. And um, yeah, GPS heading, GPS altitude, G forces. So, how, you know, when I'm turning the plane, am I going to potentially break my wings if I exceed a certain number of Gs? And finally, trip distance. So that, that's basically 7 plus 50, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, 21 sensors. There we go. 21 sensors are being provided to my jetty from this. But, um, you know, God, that's going to cost a lot, isn't it? It must cost a lot. Well, it doesn't. And I'm going to pull up the price here very quickly because you know what? This was all done with a very, very simple flight controller stack. And I'm just going into my order, and this was ordered from Banggood. There you go. So I'll pop this up on the screen so you can see it. But this was all built with the Racer Star F405 wing board. It comes with everything that is required to build this bar. Well, actually, a servo lead, which are why, you know, that, that's why I've got dozens of those. And um, this is the advanced version. So to the point, £46.94 delivers 17 odd sensors. Now, that's pretty good going and damn good value for money in my opinion. So um, yeah, I'm thinking of doing a video to show you guys exactly how to wire this together. So if there is any interest, by all means, let me know. Give me some feedback and I'll actually do a step by step and I'll build one of these, you know, just right the way through the process so you can kind of just copy paste if, if that's possible to copy paste while soldering but yeah there you go 
one sensor. I'm just chuffed because I can fit that into just about any aircraft. Anyway, guys, enjoy. Cheers.